between 2008 and 2019, 18,000 companies have left California for more Good tax deed. and regulatory friendly Good. states. Good. Now we're talking about Elon Musk moving from California to Texas. Oracle saying they are changing their corporate Good. headquarters. That's what I did. did. Paul again. Redwood Shores, California to Austin, Texas. And while it may be an overstatement to say California is hemorrhaging people, Alex some of California's Conlon wealthiest residents, like Elon Musk, are leaving too. California has to realize that eventually all of the anti-business laws and regulations they passed were going to catch up with them. Erica Douglas was an early part of the exodus. She moved her SEO software company, Woosh Traffic, and her employees to Austin six years ago. I can remember nice writing run, bro. one check to the state of California for one year, and it was like $24,000 for a year. And that was just income tax to the state. That was not federal tax. The state's population and job growth have both slowed to a trickle. Census data shows more than 650,000 people left in 2019, after seven years in a row where departures were on the rise. In fact, California has lost more people dude. to other states it. than it's gained for much of the last two decades. And with the rise of remote work in 2020 adding extra flexibility, over 135,000 more people left California than moved here, the third largest net migration loss ever recorded. As we lose really successful businesses such as Oracle and Hewlett Packard, that changes how many high paid jobs we're going to have, changes really the whole nature of the state. It changes how many Guys, tax dollars go into What Sacramento, the fuck is on this chat, how dude? Many tax dollars. Guys, what is this? What is this? Downward trend left molding dem state. What the fuck is this, dude? Guys. Fund our schools, whether there's money left over to repair roads and bridges. Left really mold, commie, like what? That the state is facing. We asked the experts and those leaving, what's behind this trend? Can anything be done to reverse it? Or is this a true <gasps> shit? Oh, I miss it, dude. Why is this? No, it's not. Is it? No, it's not. Staples. Yeah, okay. Can be done to reverse it. Or is this a true shift for business in California as we know it? For a century and a half, California was in an almost well, constant state of growth. I don't want to sound like a hipster, but going to the beach at night is going to pog it. It's the only thing good in California, dude. You know? Business and expanding population. There's something magic in California. The culture just seamlessly and consistently move towards size. what's next with new ideas. California's gold rush that started in 1848 led to one of the largest migrations in U.S. history. Okay, with question. hundreds of thousands coming I'm sorry, from across the country and the world. Guys, when people say the food there is amazing, is it, what, what does it mean? Because, bitch, I, I live in those places and I walk around and all I see is five guys in and out, Taco Bell, Chipotle, man. It's, it's, there's, there's, what the fuck? What the fuck are you guys talking about, man? The population explosion qualified California for statehood in 1850, just a few years after it was ceded by Mexico. California was an economic powerhouse by the end of the century, home to iconic brands like Wells Fargo and Levi Strauss. Scientists and researchers started flocking to the Bay Area in the early 1900s, when San Francisco's port and nearby Moffett Field made the area a major hub for early telegraph, radio, and aerospace industries. Stanford University, founded in 1885, led the way in encouraging She's students so to commercialize their ideas, leading two graduate students to start what many consider the first Silicon Valley startup in 1939, Hewlett Packard. California has been HP. a leading indicator in software, digital Ch technology, modern mobility, the environment, the space. HP's pre-builds are fucking dog shit. Space industry and is the front door between the United States of America and the Pacific Rim and the Asian markets. Like they're uh... so watching our state <laughs> fumble and stumble is not just something that's a California issue. When that box is lying, it is trying to fucking punch it, dude. Issue. California's economy has grown to the fifth largest in the world. It had $65.6 billion in VC investment in 2019, by far the highest of any state. All that venture capital is concentrated in San Francisco and Silicon Valley. But once those businesses do get a cash infusion from venture capital and get on their feet and become successful, then the advantage of being in California and Silicon Valley is much less. And that's when we see them leaving. For the longest time, you wanted to run in those circles. If you were yeah, in the tech, kind of you home. needed to be able to run Brother into man. other people in tech and have that, you know, that, that brain there in one place. 
increasingly, I think HP and others are sending the signal in a much more remote work oriented environment where we have the tech and we've also had this forced experiment in remote work that basically succeeded that Silicon Valley is wherever you want to be. Real. HP is moving its enterprise division headquarters to Houston and many others are following. Oracle, oh, founded chat. in the 70s alongside Apple and Atari, announced in December that it's relocated its headquarters to Austin. Palantir is relocating to Denver. Elon Musk moved from Los Angeles to Austin, where Tesla's building its next gigafactory. What really is surprising is the really major big companies that have put down roots here are the ones they're leaving. The mom and pops are going as well, but when they leave, they Chabot, take why would they stay though? workers with them. They're not taking thousands of workers with them, and they're not taking Elon Musk. Other What's major that companies that have moved their headquarters out of California in recent years include Toyota, Charles Schwab, Nestle, and Jamba Juice. Family. A 2018 study found guys, that guys, 1,800... Their, fa their family has legs and arms and whatnot. They can also move. They can stand up and just, just walk. Companies <laughs> left in 2016 alone, relocating mostly to Texas, followed by Nevada, Arizona, Colorado, Oregon, and Washington. This has been a trend for a while but it's accelerated now. We have high taxes, high housing costs. Cost of living in California is about 50% higher than the median state. Public services are not being delivered. So we've never really had that, all of that combination occurring uh, as we've had in the past. California and we've never is... had alternative places to move it's, to. It's so for example, now in Texas, rents? in Austin, Texas, Smog. there's a big cat cut there. <laughs> Now that the pandemic has largely Tags made traffic. times irrelevant, moving is easier and makes more financial sense. Even if you would look and say, I wouldn't found a company in California now, there are huge costs in actually relocating your company. But those costs are less when a lot of your employees aren't in the office anyways and may not be coming back. It's only and LA, not the whole thing. Is saying, we might raise taxes substantially while other states are saying, we're okay, we're not raising them. In a study of more than 2,700 Bay Area workers, two of every three say they'd consider relocating <laughs> if they could always work from home, something Dropbox, Twitter, and Facebook have offered, with the caveat that moving out of California could trigger a pay cut. If I can live in Utah and work for a California company, or if a, my California company can move to Texas and I can stay or move anywhere else, then suddenly it's a lot easier to make the tax and other business cost decisions the front of mind decisions. An Edelman Intelligence survey found that 53% of Californians are considering leaving the state with the desire highest among millennials. I wanted to understand what- A high cost of living, dude. True, dude. That's I a, that's a true- I wanted to what the rest of the world was. I didn't want to be stuck in my tech bubble for the rest of my life. And that's also one of the reasons I came to Austin early. I think it's a reasonable question to say at what point does the state break? We're seeing that tested right now as we see the remote work environment. Wealthy, influential individuals leaving recently include Oracle's Larry Ellison, Dropbox CEO Drew Houston, Palantir co-founder Joe Lonsdale, high-profile investors and influential personalities Look like guy, Keith Revoy, Tim Ferriss, Ben Shapiro, Peter Atia, and Joe Rogan, who's leaving California for Texas. I just want to go somewhere in the center of the country, yeah. somewhere it's easier to travel to both places, and somewhere where you have a little bit more freedom. Dude, that's how I felt, dude. I mean, if I, if I had to go to LA for like BlizzCon, TwitchCon, whatever the fudge, right? It's, it's kind of close, and if I want to go home, I should go above. Pipe chomp. Elon Musk also cited freedom as a major reason for his move to Texas, criticizing California's strict handling of the pandemic. Last May, Musk openly defied California shutdown orders by reopening his plant, facing strong reactions from some politicians. If you're smart enough to build SpaceX, PayPal, Tesla, maybe we should have sat down with you and asked you, what do you need to be more successful in California? And then there's all the other non-pandemic related regulations that come with huh? living in a blue state. Democrats hold Fuck a veto-proof supermajority in both houses of the California state legislature. What some call progressive policies, others see as unfriendly to business. We've really become highly regulatory He's right. when it comes to fuel use, automobile emissions, all those types of things, water, cap and trade, to try to keep businesses from polluting too much. That's an imposition for some folks. All these things together make it more costly to do business in this state. CNBC measures states on more than 60 different metrics in 10 key categories of competitiveness. In 2019, Virginia, Texas, and North Carolina took the top three spots. California came in 32nd and came in last when judged on the cost of doing business. 
<laughs> when it comes to tax structure for business, the Tax Foundation ranks California at the very bottom also, with only New Jersey ranked lower. Uh, what New Jersey? <laughs> businesses are finding is that they're able to create much more value for their shareholders. They're able to generate higher profits. They're able to hire very high quality workers at lower salaries in other places. While tax rates increase based on how much you make, California's top marginal income tax rate of 13.3% is far higher than any other state. New York's, for example, is 8.8%. This Chad, is a personal... Chad, but what do you even pay for? Where, where are your taxes even going, dude? Like... This is a personal income tax form in California. I never want to see one of these in the great state of Texas. Nine states, including Texas, have no individual state income tax on wages. Now, these states all have other taxes that offset this to some degree. Texas has high property taxes. Washington has gone after businesses with a lot of unique business taxes. But nonetheless, when you look at California, that's high on almost every tax Can across see, the board. You're getting make fun of me, Chad. You're getting make fun of me, Chad, but listen. I don't want to be weird, but as you grow older, like, like I did a little bit, it's all about taxes, always. Guys, Everything is taxes. Really good. Guys, I was there right. Are working on incentives These are gonna take to me down the line, dude. Innovators in the state, even if they're looking to leave high Bay Area costs behind. You can take that Bay Area level income and it goes so much Dating farther. Dating taxes. The Greater Sacramento Marriage Economic Council taxes. launched a campaign to attract working, remote workers retiring. with newfound flexibility. I told all three of my kids that are in their 20s, if I'm starting my life in my 20s and I'm picking any place in the world to start it, I'm picking California. On a state level, California has approved giving more than $73 million in tax credits to 22 high-growth companies over the next five years through its California Competes income tax credit, but the application process is highly competitive. Still, California's business taxes are some of the highest in the nation, and certain cities tack on even more. San Francisco just passed what they call the overpaid CEO tax, where <laughs> companies will start paying taxes depending upon the ratio of the CEO salary to the median worker at the location. <laughs> While the super wealthy may be fleeing disproportionately high taxes, the cost of living comfortably is a consideration for everyone in California. I always rented when I was in the Bay Area. I never had enough money to buy a house there. I bought my first house here in Austin. You can live 20, 30 minutes away and have a house for three, four, five hundred thousand dollars and have a nice little backyard and a place Real. for your dog to roam around and a place for your kid to play. Having a little bit more space and um, yeah, know, that's land true. and it just, it just feels right. Realtor Scott Shepard relocated his family from Riverside, California to Northern Idaho in 2019. All of our major line items across the board are significantly lower at the rate of 30 to 40 percent. You know, we've got $1.98 for a gallon of gas. Shepard runs ExitCalifornia.org, one of a growing number of online relocation companies helping people move. He says about twice as many people have been reaching out about the service since the pandemic began. Lots of restrictions, lots of regulations, freedoms being taken away. By the hope housing is impossible in California. We are, by all estimates, between three and four million Chad. units short of housing. Yes. The median single family home in San Francisco I was going right around now costs about and, one. Did, did, in LA specifically, for like one mil, you get like a like a small piece of shit house with no land, no back, it's just so weird. $1.6 million. Rent in San Francisco is easily $5,000 to $6,000 per month. So you multiply that and that means you're not hiring someone who is technologically advanced and skilled without paying them $150,000, $170,000 per year. And you simply don't need to pay that type of salary in Texas. Although California remains a top destination for people moving from other countries and rich transplants relocating from out of state, the White House reports nearly half of the country's unsheltered homeless people live on the streets of California. And a growing number of middle and low income people are moving out of state, up, with man. the majority of those leaving reporting an annual income under $100,000. Whether they are people at the car wash, baggers at the supermarket, attendees at the rest homes, and what are we doing to assure ourselves that we'll be able to keep that critical part of our employment infrastructure, those folks at the bottom, because we're toast without it. Of those surveyed by Edelman Intelligence, 53% cited housing as the primary motivator for relocating. Hiring in a state with a lower cost of living also helped Douglas get her startup off the ground. 
it opens up the ability for people to work for startups, <laughs> the ability for people to not have to feel like they're paying their whole life savings for an apartment every month. <laughs> and my ability as a business owner to be able to hire those people at a very reasonable and, and fair rate, but a rate that's not going to be like a Google $450,000 a year right out of the gate type of thing. <laughs> Meanwhile, the pandemic has robbed California of some positives once used to justify its high cost of living. When I went looking to raise money for my startup a few years ago, a lot of investors in San Francisco said, This guy says our repair shop is a startup now. <laughs> they man a well, I want to be able to sit in on board meetings in person. You know, I will only invest within a 50 mile radius of San Francisco because I want to be able to sit on those board meetings. Well, now board meetings are conducted via Zoom and the minutes are distributed through email. Now, if you can work anywhere, you don't care. You can go somewhere else that has a lower cost of living and a lower cost of taxation. So a lot of states, not just California, but New York and other states that have historically banked <laughs> on offering something unique have to worry that they're not so unique anymore. Chan, sorry, With an economy as I couldn't even read the comments. I, I, I thought it was too funny. I'm sorry, bigger guys. Bigger than many countries. Will California feel the impact of big companies leaving? And with super earners paying 40% of the state's tax <laughs> revenues, can California afford to lose billionaires like Musk, one of the richest men in the world? Some states, like New Jersey, has actually had to amend budgets when a single billionaire left the state. California would not be at that point where Elon Musk leaving California means they have to amend their Holy budget. Holy shit! But as he leaves, and as companies like HP and Oracle and others relocate a significant amount of their operations, this has a huge impact, both That's crazy. and in the long term. The investments they would make, them being located in a different place, the employment opportunities. That, For those who have left, there are new challenges to contend with in new yeah, states, yeah, including finished. resistance to Californians changing things elsewhere. This is not an invitation to simply transfer the f of California to Texas. We Texans are very inviting to people from California, but that doesn't mean we want you to California or Texas. What up? Thank you, Sonia. Average lot. I don't want Austin to just become the next San Francisco. I think what we want is to have Austin's own unique culture uh, make startups that work. For a while there, I was a little bit insecure to let. Calm down this chat. I don't know what. It was a pretty good video. We, you know, we saw the point, dude. I get it. It was pretty good. Okay. Okay. Whew. Chat. I, I have a, a food to devour. It was a pretty good video, I think. New plaguing free expansion. No shit. Yo, X. Hope you have a good stream. Love you to chat.